Hi guys, this is Rahul here from Tech Geeks. Today we'll discuss about how to create swipe file in Linux. So swipe file is like a space on the disk. Like we can reserve it for the virtual memory. Like whenever servers run out of memory, we can or like kernel will use or kernel will move the process into swipe. So let's start and we'll create the swipe file here so to create a swipe file you can use a dd command so the syntax will be like dd just put sudo in first dd if equal to slash dev slash zero space of the output file where you want to save I'll save into slash and the file name will be swap file it's up to you you can choose whatever name you want to keep bs equal to here you can mention the size I'll give 512 M 512 MB space count count is like 1 only once it will kill it like 512 MB if you want double of 512 then you can put 2 for a 1 GB press enter So it has created like 530 MB, 537 MB it has copied. If you want you can check DF message says swap file. So it is like 513 MB in the size of this file. Next we need to make it swap. Like this file we need to make it as a swap partition. Swap file. So to do that we will run the command sudo mk swap space that swap file name slash swap file and press enter so here so setting up swap space of size 512 mb and the label and the uid is this now we need to make it on like first we'll check what is our current swipe space it's like about 1 GB so we'll add here and we'll make it on the swipe file which we made it now to make it on we'll run the command sudo swap on space slash swap file so it shows like ensuring permission 600 you can set the permission like nobody can delete or edit this file you can make it the permission using ch mode 0664 we'll do that Now if you want to verify you can check it using free hyphen m. So here as you can see here it is now 1.5 GB. Earlier it was like 1 GB. Now it is 1.5 GB. 
so this is like a temporary if you want to add it permanently we need to add it this information to the fs tab file you will do that so just open the file slash ptc fs tab just end of the line make another entry like give the location of the swap file swap file then swap again swap Keep the permission default. Yeah. And just save it. So whenever system reboots, it will pick from this and it will mount the swap file. This way you can add the swap file into your server so you can use swap on hyphen a to update the swap file or the swap space if it is not updating just run the command swap on hyphen a it will update all the swap partitions or swap file and you can verify using swap on hyphen s to check the swipe file and the swipe partition so here you can see this is a partition which is in the sd5 and this file which we have added now you can see this in the size and used and the priority of it if you want to remove the swipe file which you have added or if you want to off the swap like you can use swap off if you want to off all the swap which is in the server you can use a or if you want to remove only the swap file which we have created you can use swap off slash that swap file now we'll verify it have an s so as we have so as you can see this swap file it has removed so this way you can remove the swap file if you want to add just run the command swap swap on space that swap file so this way you can add or you can remove the swap okay, here it goes Thanks for watching, please check out my other video as well and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.